Welcome back to uh, Life on Two Wheels. This is going to be a video not so much about uh, getting around. This is uh, more about my office space, as I know I've got a great office. And, uh, but there's always the possibility of making things better. Lately, now that I'm working from home and I've got uh, uh, my law practice, you know, keeping me quite busy, I would say, roughly half time and I spend quite a bit of time at my in my office at my desk it would be a good thing if from time to time I could actually uh, stand but it's a big big commitment I mean for even if somebody just gave me the desk you know disassembling my crazy tightly tightly controlled environment of computers and cables and stuff like that I'm allergic to cables uh, just to install you know on another desk it's a daunting prospect and it's not something really I was looking forward to I mean it's just such a pain when you pull all these wires apart and, and if you if you take a look at, uh, at what my office uh, used to look like my office um, when I was studying for the bar exams, which you see here, uh, it was, you know, a little cluttered. I mean, take a look at that Kleenex box. We're going to focus on Kleenex for whatever reason. And, um, you know, when I had paper, there's always paper when you're studying for stuff or if you're working on a, a client file, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. And then fast flash, <laughs> skip forward to uh, July, 2019. Take a look at my office there, same desk same setup well not quite the same setup new lighting um three computers a macbook and two uh desktop monitors and it's quite neat because i uh, I'll, I'll explain a little bit later on i installed some drawers under my desk so i got some of the clutter off my desk now, one of the keys to that was that my my steel and glass desk had a riser on the uh, on the l-shaped portion of the desk and um it had a keyboard drawer and the sit stand desk out of the box, so to speak, doesn't uh, get you there. So um, when I finally decided to bite the bullet and place the order, it was like on a Wednesday or something. By Tuesday of the following week, I had all of these um, cardboard boxes like it felt like maybe I don't know, 200 pounds of cardboard boxes, desktops and desk hardware and stuff like that that was uh, delivered uh, by the supplier. The supplier, by the way, that I chose is uh, Progressive Desk. They're an outfit that's uh, based in uh, Vancouver. And uh, I was just very, very impressed with what I saw on their website. I liked the fact that they were a Canadian company and uh, they also were extremely helpful. They did a lot of hand-holding as I was kind of trying to figure out from amongst all their, their, their various offerings, what would best suit my office. And what I wanted was the most desk that I could fit in this space. And uh, here you see the, um, the desktop uh, after I had uh, assembled the desk and it wasn't that difficult. Uh, you know, the magic is that uh, you, you press a button or in this case, rotate a control and the desk just uh, rises up you know, and uh, literally becomes a, uh, a sit-stand desk. And that's, uh, that's an amazing thing. But uh, what, it, uh, what, you, what you don't see uh, here with, the, uh, with this brilliant uh, desktop um, that was fairly easy to set up, plop the computers down, figure out where they go, is that underneath the desk, uh, you have the kingdom of wires. And the kingdom of wires is some kind of a mess. And, and you know, I'm allergic to wire mess. Look at this. I mean, it's absolutely, absolutely disgusting. So what's the solution? The solution it turns out to be IKEA. And it's the Signum uh, wire management system. And here you, here you have a, uh, a Signum wire management uh, thing. I bought three of them. And uh, you'll see here, I take this chaos, absolute chaos, and I turn it into something of amazing beauty. Look at this. This is just absolutely stunning. This is basically the way things are today. Uh, with a couple of tweaks, you'll see a white cardboard box under the desk, which uh, I managed to um, uh, get rid of. It was there temporarily. Uh, look at that glass riser on the back of the uh, the desk. Is that not absolutely stunning? It takes my knickknacks and 
uh, little things like paper clips and stuff like that that I that I use gets them off the desk, and it just gives me this amazing, amazing expanse. But look what's happening underneath the desk. I mean, this is where the magic is. So these are these uh, uh, drawers um, made by Muji, uh, which is a Japanese uh, company. They have a, a branch here in Toronto, and underneath they sit on top of this uh, basket. Uh, which is really really good because you see under the basket there what you see is the um, what, what you're seeing is the vent the heating and cooling vent uh, for this room and the best place for those drawers happens to be right on top of those vents and so what happens is that the, that basket allows the air to circulate so I can, I can put my drawers on top of the uh, of the air conditioning and heating outlet and I, it doesn't really have an impact on um, on the environment in my office I mean, that is serendipitous in a sense. I didn't plan it that way. It kind of worked out that way. I had had those two drawers set on top of that basket under my glass desk. It just happened, you know, to be uh, one of those serendipitous things that uh, it made it uh, very, very easy to place those uh, those drawers in the best place under my, uh, my brand new desk. So um, you see that uh, in terms of wiring, take a look at that Signum rack. I mean, there is is a lot of wiring that uh, that signum rack makes neat and tidy so that you don't see it when you uh, when you're looking at the when you're looking at the desk um, you'll see some wires hanging down there the reason for that is that those are very uh, the, the key connection points for my computer so uh, lightning cables for the uh, iPhone uh, two generic um, USB uh, female connectors one for each uh, computer and um, you know a micro a micro USB another uh, lightning connector and a USB C uh, connector to my brand new uh, iMac. So I mean that's really genius. Uh, I needed a keyboard tray as I mentioned I cobbled one together with the hardware from uh, Lee Valley and the glass from Mega City Glass and they're the same people who provided the glass for this uh, riser. Um, it's just absolutely absolutely stunning to um, get the computers kind of because they're different sizes on the same level I use a, a vivo height adjustable desktop monitor stand that, that also conceals the backup not pardon me the backup drive for each one of those Macs uh, the backup drive for the MacBook is uh, actually sitting in the in the signum rack um, on the extreme left side of the computer so all of that means that uh, oh I guess I should uh, I should show this so I've got the two uh, iMacs uh, they're they're two different generations but they are uh, hooked together with a Thunderbolt cable and that allows me to use the old iMac as a monitor for uh, the new iMac uh, when um, my work is complex enough that it needs to uh, basically I, I need more real more screen real estate so not only do I have I got more uh, desk real estate in my office but I've got a uh, screen real estate and getting the maximum amount of uh, real estate uh, I was able to get a progressive desk an L-shaped progressive desk but it was going to come it was it was taking up actually too much space and it was interfering with uh, my file cabinet as you'll see here so uh, you open the file cabinet and it's just too close to the desk so you can't get a file out um, you can't get that drawer open uh, wide enough in order to actually use the file cabinet. And I was a little bit concerned about that until I realized, hey, you've got a, uh, a desk, you know, that's uh, a sit-stand desk. So when I put it in the stand position, this is what happens. The desk goes up and uh, magically gets out of the way of the file cabinet. And so now when I open the file cabinet, the files become easily accessible and I can just pull a file out, no longer obstructed. Uh, that's just uh, absolutely incredible. You know, it's a little bit inconvenient because you've got to raise the desk to open the drawer uh, to access the files, but that doesn't happen that often. So it's really, really not a big deal. And the extra real estate that I get, the extra like foot and a half of uh, desk space that I get as a result of this little uh, Jedi mind trick uh, is absolutely uh, priceless, absolutely uh, valuable. I mentioned, uh, you know, to keep an eye on the Kleenex and you will have seen uh, the Kleenex on top of my drawer, my desk drawers uh, there a couple of frames back. But here is where the uh, Kleenex has ended up. 
I bought this uh, Kleenex box holder on Amazon. And so the Kleenex is literally, I mean, it's very, very handy. It's right next to the uh, the keyboard tray. I can just, I know I can just reach under there and grab a Kleenex from time to time when I'm filling my fountain pen or if I have a, a runny nose or if I sneeze or something like that. Uh, but normally when you uh, come into my office, when you look at my office, when I look at my desk, when I... Uh, it's just uh, serenity and tranquility, and I don't have to worry about that uh, that Kleenex box. And when the uh, keyboard drawer goes in, I mean, just take a look at this. It's amazing. I've got so much space. Um, what I can do is you, you see it like on the back row of the desk, underneath the uh, the desk riser. I can have uh, you know my notebook. I can have uh, files, papers. In this case, a catalog. And when I need to work on something, I can just grab some of those papers. I can move them closer uh, to my workflow. And when I need to uh, focus on a particular document, it's uh, child's play. Just to shift it over to the main desk and I lay it down there. Uh, the keyboard is not on the desk. And so the keyboard is just out of the way and it's the best of uh, all possible worlds. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. I keep my uh, my uh, iPad uh, plugged in at the back of the desk and I keep, the, uh, I keep my calendar on it so that I can just glance over to my left and I see the uh, I see my calendar and I can see what's happening. And I've got the iPad set up now so that when it's plugged into a power source, it uh, it just stays awake. It doesn't uh, it doesn't go to sleep. It doesn't turn itself off. So that's um, that's really really uh, a, a very functional thing. So now it's uh, it's October, and this is what my my workflow looks like. I can normally I would be sitting. And normally I'm working on the 27 inch uh, iMac. And when I end up with uh, too many uh, documents, as you can see, I can just put the, uh, the other iMac into monitor mode and just use that expanded uh, real estate, which is just absolutely incredible. Um, I can turn that off so that they both operate as separate, uh, separate computers. I put on my screen savers and when I'm done working for the day, I just put it, put the desk in uh, in stand mode, and uh, ultimately leave it that way. So if I happen to walk into my office because I need to check something on the computer or do something quickly, uh, something that's not going to take that much time, I don't have to uh, I don't have to sit down. I can stand and do whatever it, it is I was doing, and then uh, ultimately you know, walk away. Here I walk away and I'm leaving the desk in. Uh, in sit mode, not something I normally do, but uh, it's just cool. I never get tired of seeing the desk go up and down. And that's it. That's the uh, that's my office, my little universe that uh, I've created for myself. It is hands down the best office I have ever had in my career, bar none. Uh, you see there my my printer, my office microwave. Uh, both sitting on top of my office wine fridge and uh, who knew it's like uh, pigs flu and I ended up with the perfect office. So uh, that's it for another uh, interesting episode I hope of uh, Life on Two Wheels. Don't forget to uh, visit the blog where you'll find the gear guide, the touring guide and so much more and there's a link to uh, in the show notes to Progressive Desk and to the other suppliers that allow, allowed me to uh, pull off this uh, amazing tour de force and, and give myself the best office uh, in Canada, maybe in the world. Take good care now.